What's up everybody? My name is B with Prey for Snow Auto Detailing and I'm, I can't even contain my excitement because I have in the garage a 2021 Ram 3500 in my favorite color to work on for Ram, Billet Silver Metallic. It is so gorgeous and it is here for one of my favorite type of exterior projects which is to paint correct and paint protect with the Adams Graphene Ceramic Coating and I think this is going to turn out amazing. It is, I think I call all trucks that I pull in here monster trucks because they are big. I mean, they take up nearly the whole garage, but this is definitely higher on the scale of monster truckness. And I'm so excited to work on it. There's a little bit of drawings right here, which I think is basically heresy because you, don't, you just don't do that to paint. It's not cool. But the wheels and tires is a total side note. Customer has some new ones on order. We're still gonna clean these because we want it to look amazing for when they pick it up, but we you know, don't need to protect those. Regardless, we're gonna get it washed off first and then we'll go into the paint correction steps. This is, it's seriously gonna be a hoot. So let's get to work. <laughs> we have some new products today and I am super pumped about them. I bought two detailing brushes from CarPro. One is synthetic and one is natural hair. I'm actually going to use the natural long hair brush on the exteriors. And hopefully I can open that or I will be humiliated. And I'm gonna pretend like I didn't have to do that. <laughs> so anyway, we'll use the long hair brush on the exterior, and then we'll say the interior for when I, or the interior, we'll save this synthetic one for when I do my next interior. Before we go any further, why? Why what? Why is all of this? I'm fairly certain it's obvious. I guess we'll find out later. The wheels are gonna be sick to detail. The iron remover is definitely gonna pull a lot of stuff out. I just can feel it. It may not look as cool on camera, but it's gonna look cool from my angle. But we're going to use the new IK sprayer with PS Brake Duster. It was pretty good last time I used it, so we'll give it another go on this mega wheel monster truck. The iron remover was less dramatic than I thought it was gonna be, admittedly. That is an insanely deep wheel well, but on a positive note, it didn't have carpet. <laughs> For the pre-wash today, we will use Car Pro Lift, and I just ran out, so I will order some more. And for the wash today, I'm actually gonna use Car Pro D Scale. Don't draw smiley faces on people's cars, or right wash me, it's not cool. Not at all. Should we do some more action cam? All right, let's do it. You know what time it is, it's time to go foam cannon. That was a weak spit, a little bit better. As I go along washing with my washing materials, which is a detailing brush and a microfiber wash mitt. I have a suggestion. Next time any of you ever think about writing wash me on somebody's window or, well, pretty much anywhere on their car, just wash their car instead. You don't need time to wash their car. Just wash it for them. It's a nice thing to do rather than a mean thing like wash, <laughs> like writing wash me on their car. That's just. It's just cruel. And as a total side note, I always wash with the two bucket method to reduce the risk of scratching. I wash, and then I come over here to my rinse bucket, make sure to get any contaminants that may be stuck in the wash mitt out. Put it back into the shampoo bucket. Same thing with the brush. 
then I go back and wash. One more time with the foam cannon, and then we will chemically decontaminate. The contamination is not too bad, but still got to do it. Washing was sick. I really like this. This paint is my favorite, straight up. <laughs> Let's decontaminate with Adam's iron remover. This is the first step of the two-step decontamination. I'm going to obviously spray it on and then let it dwell for just a few minutes and we'll rinse it off. This helps to get a lot of the iron contamination that chills in the paint, helps to remove it. So when we do the physical decontamination step, we don't have as big of risk of marring the paint. All of the purple is the iron remover bonding to the contaminants. I like saying it like that. And then pulling it to the ground. So you can see the trails here. Not a ton, but a little. So let's rinse it off. We'll dry using the hybrid method with the microfiber towel from the rag company, one of my favorites called the Gauntlet. And then we will go over all of the finer areas with the foam cannon. <laughs> Sorry, with the air cannon from Adams Paul. the clay barring, the physical decontamination of optimum no rinse, mixed at the ratio described on the bottle. And this is my clay lube. And then I've got my clay bar, which is Chemical Guys medium grade clay bar. I also have a microfiber towel. Not a ton of contamination on here, but because we are polishing, we need to make sure nothing is left on here. And I'll show you some tiny spots really quick before we get going. Come here, dude. There's just not a ton. You can see that spot right there. Little guy. Little spots like that are just peppered throughout here. You really know if you need to clay bar by the feel of your paint. If you rub your hand along it and it's bumpy and grainy, it's not how it should be. So it needs to be clay barred. Let's do it and it's going to be awesome. Tailgate's always the best place to see contamination. That's why we clay bar. that this billet silver metallic is my favorite paint that Ram makes and I'm not exaggerating. I think it's stunning. I'm so excited to do the paint correction. We will review all of that tomorrow. Right now, I got up at four and did a wonderful run outside, but it's late and I'm tired, so I'm gonna take a little rest, then we will get started. Tomorrow we're gonna get right into taping and then we will paint correct. Morning camera. Let's get to work. Let's get tape. Oh, do you know what? I'll show you something. I think little details are really, really cool. And look at the ghost comings in. The big C. I think that's really neat. 
Little details are awesome. Get the polisher ready. While getting the polisher ready and out, I actually need a lot of help. I want to grow the YouTube channel, but the only way I can do that is through you awesome viewers. If you like what I'm, the content that I'm making, liking and subscribing is obviously really important, but I wanna ask a favor this week. Can you take this video, if you liked it, and if you think I'm worthy of it, will you share it with somebody? Just share it with one person at least. That would be the coolest. Just take it, text it to them, email it to them, share it through the YouTube feature. Whatever you do, try and get my videos out there. I know YouTube really right now is hitting on sharing, so if you could share it, that would be the sickest. And you know what else is the sickest? Pink corrected. So we're going to start with the five inch pad. And this is billet silver metallic. I've done this paint before, pink correcting. We're gonna use Meguiar's cutting discs for the compounding stage. And then, still this and that, we use Car Pro Ultra Cut for the compound itself. Let me change this head over really quick. Let me change this backing plan over really quick. Noob. Let's pick a place and do a test section. I did some visual inspection after the washing last night with the Swirl Finder Light, and it's really in great shape. Check it out. There are some swirls right through here. And the whole truck is like that, that there's some minor swirling, but it's not, it's not horrible. So we'll start, let's do a test section right here, see how it looks before and after, and then we'll move on to the rest of the truck. scratches that were hanging out and there's still some swirls over in this area but one thing ultra cut does not do is it does not leave a beautiful shine it removes the scratches takes that clear coat layer down evens it out so that the light doesn't reflect and show the scratches so let's throw on some car pro essence with the griot's garage pad just to make sure this is the perfect combination Pretty sure it is. This is for sure what I'm aiming for. It is beautiful, sparkly, brilliant, flawless, epic. And then you come over to here, and again, the scratches aren't bad. There's just some swirls. So there's before, I'm sorry, there's ah, here's after. Beautiful. There's before. This is gonna turn out so good. I'm so pumped. Oh, I'm loving this. So, combination, awesome. We're going to just work around the entire truck and get it beautiful, epic, amazing, flawless, whatever. Head wrap. So, still waiting to hear why. Why what? Why it's obvious that all of this 
Well, with a dually you can tow up to, I think, 37,000 pounds? How is it obvious that this can tow 37,000 pounds? Okay, maybe it's not obvious, but it is definitely one of the cooler things about the dually. Couldn't agree more. Paint correction so far has been amazing. That compounding step was such a rush, but I do have another question. 37,000 pounds, not like a common thing, so what, what, what dually, what, why? I mean, specific example? No, I can totally see how a dually would not be awesome in every application, and maybe not obvious. The customer actually has a 40 plus foot long trailer that they haul around. They also, that thing exceeds 12,000 pounds, so a normal truck, I mean a Jeep can only tow like 3,500, so a normal truck just isn't going to tow something that big. So if you have something that big, this is a reasonable application. Okay, it makes a little bit more sense. And I do have to apologize for the crew because the kids are playing in a pirate pool to have some friends over and a pirate inflatable pool. It's really awesome. But I just handed out the water guns so there may be some chaos. We'll see if it drowns us out. Let's start polishing with Carpro Essence. Oh, we've already talked. Carpro Essence, Grios Garage, finishing pads, the black ones, and their foam. And it's gonna be sick. And I am so excited because again, I love Billet Silver Metallic. Let's go. Apparently, the pool party went a little wild out there because Spartacus didn't realize that there's like this much water in the bottom of the pirate pool and dove in and scorpioned. So, be touched head from the back. And now I'm soaking wet because we had a little cuddle because that does hurt. Two things. One, we gotta get down here, camera. Who remembers studded belts? Maybe I had one back in the day. Maybe I still have one. <laughs> if you can't tell, I'm getting super pumped because this paint is turning out awesome. And another thing, giant tires equal something cool. Built-in ladder. Let's remove the tape and then we will IPA. Forget the provided surface prep. It's still a couple letters, but it's not a 
Colorado or a Silverado, so not as bad, but could be better. Could be like Maverick. Pain has been corrected and I'm so, oh, this is going to be, you know it, it's gonna be sick. Let's do a lap and enjoy the beauty of this dually and then we'll prep for the ceramic. Let's do it. Got to get all the application materials out of the box, which of course is the graphene ceramic, applicating suede pad, suede towel, and plush microfiber towel to wipe off. But I got to get a jam. So let me find. Music. Here we go. Searching, pain is never really permanent. Hurts, man. I could feel all of the turbulence, and it's concerning. I've been searching for a purpose. I hope it's worth it. So, I gotta know. You ask for people to help you build the channel, but why? What's the goal? What's the end goal? Honestly? Well, yeah, honestly, I don't really know why. <laughs> the goal with growing the channel would be that I would never have to charge a detailing customer again. I think it would be sick to just have ad revenue if I ever get there, take over and that way I can just detail cars. Dope. Obviously I knew that, because I'm you. <laughs> ceramic coating is just epic on paint but with trim it works okay but doesn't last forever so off camera I've been testing this Gion Q2 trim it seems to work pretty decent on the trim obviously I don't know if it's gonna last nine years because I haven't been testing it off camera for nine years but I am going to use it on this bed liner Tunnel cover. Tunnel cover. I I would like to take the time to thank the customer. Thank you, Epic customer. This was truly a gem of a detail and I hope you like the performance of this graphene ceramic coating and of course, I hope you liked the video. Thanks for letting me detail it.
What an absolute gem. Let's do a final lap, and then I'm going to bed. This was so sick. Don't forget, subscribe, other video, share, please. It really does help. And detail that like button. See you on the next one.